Uh, thanks very much. Great to be with you. Yes, it's a momentous day for Loom. We've been working away on our technology for a, a long time. Uh, before COVID came along, we were working on flu to make a home flu test for many years. And when COVID arrived, we turned our attention to making really world leading diagnostics for COVID. So yes, it's very pleasing to see that recognised by the US government. Why are we using it here? Well, the needs of Australia are quite different to that of the US right now. Um, we are moving towards elimination here and we've done very well at controlling the virus and, and the sporadic outbreaks which we've had. The US is in a different place and they need to be able to test as many people in their community as frequently as possible. They need to be able to catch those asymptomatic cases before they spread it within their community. And that all means that the laboratory infrastructure is not really equipped to be able to cope with that amount of testing and that rapid at home, simple to use diagnostics is, um, is a key piece of recovering from the pandemic in America. Yeah, it's a real problem. It's a cultural problem almost in America. Australians are, are much more compliant when it comes to following uh, rules and the leadership has uh, no doubt been a little bit better as well. Now, these testing kits are up to 96% accurate. Is that correct? And do they work the same way as the tests do here in Australia when you go to a clinic? Is it a nasal swab? Uh, that's correct on 96% accurate. Uh, our test is an antigen test, which is, it actually detects a viral protein. So if mm. there's a virus growing in your in your nose or nasopharynx, then we will detect that virus. Uh, it works differently to the tests which are used here in Australia, which look for a piece of viral uh, RNA, which is a piece of the genetic material of that virus. And so the, the mechanism which those two work is quite different. Uh, the PCR tests are, are very uh, accurate they're relatively slow when they're, and they're quite expensive. Uh, our antigen tests are still pretty accurate, but they're a good deal quicker and they're simple mm. to perform and they're things that can be performed in the home environment, which is what we have. Dr Parsons, do you see a role for these kits in Australia um, in the months perhaps uh, to come when we do start to get back to, to normal life and, and those testing kits uh, right around the country, uh, testing centres, I should say, right around the country are not set up long term. Is, is that what you've got your eye on? Our focus very much is on the US market right now. Um, in accepting this money from the US government, we have given assurances that all of our product will be sold in the US to help America respond. Mm -hmm. I think as the, the months roll by, we'll realise that COVID is here to stay and we can't have our borders up like this forever. Uh, and as that realisation dawns, it'll become apparent that even here in Australia, where we've done a terrific job of controlling the virus, there will come a time when, when uh, COVID will come into our communities and it will circulate within our communities. And that at, at that time, you know, rapid home testing for coronavirus will make an awful lot of sense. So okay. our focus right now is on the US. I think the, uh, the focus will evolve over time as we continue to move through this pandemic. Are you working on anything else? Uh, yeah, so our core tech has been used for multiple other things. Okay. Um, the, we currently have a, an, a digital antibody test, which will enable us to identify people that have either been vaccinated or have had prior exposure to COVID. Uh, we think that's going to be an important part of recovering for economies to recover so that you can create almost like a, a passport, being able to prove that you've got immunity so that's one of the other products that we're creating. We also have products for flu and strep and a terrific product for tuberculosis or TB that we've created with a business named Kyogen mm. over many years. So the core technology is used in multiple places. COVID is obviously a big one right now, but there are many others.